it rained for about 40 45 seconds when i sang ganana ganana It had the dip 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 kumari. So I was, you know, we used to joke, we used to joke and laugh that you know, Tamil song and a Bhangra groove. So in one interview, I would repeat this for the 735th time that Rahman is unusual. Tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years, Rahman Music Sheets. Hi friends. How about finding a top take? A wow factor in this episode. Do watch it till the end to grab this harmonic moment of the day. 1992 to 2000. Rahman composed for nearly 50 films. More than 10 crore copies of his albums were sold, making him one of the world's top selling artists. Then came Lagan. 35 lakh copies sold within one year. Nominated for Oscar in the category of Best Foreign Language Film in 2002. It was the third Indian film to have reached this far at the Oscars. In India, Lagan won eight national awards and eight Filmfare awards. Its scintillating soundtrack captured the essence and soul of Lagan. Its first song, Ghanana Ghanana, introduces us to the film's plot, location and characters. Ghanana, ghanana, gire, gire, aya padera, I remember that, you know, Ashutosh and uh, we were sitting and then the whole idea of that ghanana, 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 ghanana was the idea of like clouds coming, you know, the whole idea of when it gets cloudy. So that was the idea. And uh, there was, see, as I was telling you, he listens to suggestions. This, you know, man dharka e badarva, man dharka e badarva, man, man, this off thing, na. I suggested to him, just, you know, do you think that because it, badarva, it falls on the, it falls on the one and see that is what you know a musician who's not insecure about his craft he said yeah this is good let's do it this way so he had already recorded with other chorus singers he he changed all that and he kept he, you know he i sang it and then all the other chorus singers again had to sing after i had sung this so uh, and it's a beautiful song and i was i'm just a small part of that song few lines i'm singing but i think all the other great singers have sung beautifully So for this song, Alka Yagnik Ji was your co-singer. Let me show you what she had to say about songs of Lagan. I had been for a number of years, I had been singing songs with a particular format. This is a this is a this is a second then a second then a second then a But this was very strange. In fact, I remember uh, when we were doing the songs of Lagan, uh, Javed Akhtar Ji was, uh, at that time he said, Ki, Aray bhai, where does it start from? Where does it start from? So he had to say, Bhai, come back. Now it's been a lot, come back. Now it's been a lot, come back. So it was precisely like that because the song used to just, you know, just go in uh, various directions, going up, going down, and we used to wonder if the music will come from or how is the song going to come back to the mukra. He doesn't believe in that mold. He doesn't believe in the tried and tested, uh, you know. Like for example, I'll give you a small example. If you see in South Indian films, every film has got one Dapangutha song, you know. Dapangutha is a dantadaka, dantadaka, dantadaka. He will not do that. He, even if he does a Dapangutha song, he will do it his way. So, it's, you know, it's his way, his contribution, his idea. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, Ganana Ganana was a, it's a landmark song. It's a landmark song. And, uh, the 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 amount of singers you can visualize the whole village it's almost like an introduction to the village you know so all the characters old man old men old ladies children this that a chorus uh, you know rhythm happening over there everybody praying almost to to you know uh, to the rain god it's an amazing amazing piece of music <laughs> I remember I was singing the song in uh, Kerala in the middle of the heat. It was it was proper summer and I sang this for some you know Kerala function was there and I sang this Ganana Ganana and I remember uh, uh, in the front row was the great uh, maestro Yeshu Das Ji, uh, Chitra Ji and many 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 more great composers, singers, classical musicians, everybody was sitting in the front row. 
and I was singing the song and in the end of the song, even in Rahman shows, I used to improvise, you know, I used to do the Malhar, uh, you know, Raag, Taan, uh, Sargams I used to do, just an effect of, you know, improvising with that Raag. And I was improvising and uh, and I was closing my eyes and suddenly I saw that, you know, I'm not hearing the music behind me and the and I turned back and I saw the tabla and the acoustic instruments they were taking the they were taking their instruments and running backstage because it had started raining. It rained for about 40, 45 seconds when I sang Ganana Ganana and it just stopped and the program continued. So, you know, that that became like a headline for all the newspapers in Kerala. Yeshudas ji came and mentioned about that thing. It was an unforgettable moment, but that was the magic of the song, Ganana Ganana, which Rahman composed. So, besides sweeping all the awards, Lagan was the best selling album in 2001. The entire soundtrack had a very unique character to it. But now, uh, multiple composers compose for a film. How does it impact a film? Does it bring variety and energy or does it take away the soul of a film? I think it takes away the soul of the film because uh, it's like having it's like having five heroes for for the same film, one doing the action sequences, one doing romantic and one doing you know emotional sequences. So I think uh, it's 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 a great idea for the music company and for the producer where the job gets done fast and they are able to choose, you know, but it's 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 a bit of a mess because nobody gets the due credit nobody knows who's composed what uh, and uh, i don't believe in it honestly that's to put it simply sir around lagan was also the period when mr rahman was working on multiple projects including bombay dreams with andrew lloyd webber uh, somewhere you had described that uh, you know those days his studio looked like a doctor's clinic. Yeah, I mean it doesn't. It doesn't look like a doctor's clinic. It, the feeling is when you go out to the reception. It used to be. No, I don't know. I, I'm not. You know, sung in a long time for him uh, in his studio for him. In the, but it used to be like all line of directors used to be waiting outside. All the singers, all the lyricists, and the way he used to manage everybody. Something happening here, something happening there. Tamil people are waiting. Hindi people are waiting. Tamil directors, Hindi lyricists. Uh, you know, uh, Tamil singers, Telugu singers. Some dubbing happening. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's Rahman. Can't you can't describe that whole experience? So in Baba, you sang Dipu Dipu, a Tamil song with Punjabi bhangra beats and Mr. Rajnikanth dancing. What are your thoughts? Unusual, fun? <laughs> it's fun, you know. And uh, yeah, I remember. I mean, again, you know, it was for Rajni sir. So that fun element has to be there, and it had it had this dip 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 kumari. So I was, you know, we used to joke, we used to joke and laugh that you know Tamil song and a bhangra groove, you know, uh, it's fun. See, as I said, he always breaks the mold. He goes against the stream. Singing for Mr. Rajni Kant, what did it mean to you? It means a lot. It means the world. You're singing for one of the most popular and most amazing actors of, of the country. He's the biggest superstar, all said and done. So whenever you have a feeling uh, that you're going to sing for Rajni, sir, it is surely a special feeling, of course. How can one deny that? Hey, goodbye, Are you the a political action film by Mani Ratnam. Simultaneously made in Hindi as Yova, a multi starer film with multiple narrative threads. Rahman's music had to weave them together. So you sang Goodbye Namba in Tamil. Did you find this composition very unusual the way you were expected to render it? Sir, in one interview, I would repeat this for the 735th time that Rahman is unusual. Rahman is the person who who's path breaking always and he you know he thinks are like i mean you look at that uh, that song uh, uh, the one which i sang you know hey uh, goodbye nanba it is just unbelievable there's a little jazz section that comes in between which is unbelievable most unexpected you know it just takes you by surprise so uh, that's what that is what he is all about <laughs> So 
So Mr. Rahman sang for this film and its Hindi version Yuva 2. Earlier he had sung in Lagaan as well. In fact, some of the songs sung by Mr. Rahman have become extremely popular. You, as a composer, as a singer, how would you evaluate Mr. Rahman as a singer? You know, I always tell this to my family. There is a particular uh, quality, essence and soul in his voice which nobody else has got. Like that song, Ye Jo Dez Hai Mera, I don't think anybody can render the way Rahman has done. Uh, because, you know, it comes from here. And Rahman singing is straight from the heart and it connects straight to your heart. So, he is, I would say he is like a bard of singers, you know, he, it comes straight from here. It just comes very naturally. And I love his singing, I love his voice and I love the way he renders his own songs. Like Pundi Nadi, I mean I went mad when I listened to that song. The way he has rendered it, it is so amazing. And in the middle of so much clutter to come up with something that is so fresh and stand out and break the records, na, that is what is A.R. Rahman. Which is your favorite song sung by Mr. Rahman? Yeah, Tere Bina Besuadi, Til Se Re, um, this one, uh, Ye Jo Dez Hai Mera tops the list, of course. And of course, now Pundi Nadi. Can you sing any one of them, if possible? Dil Se Re, Dil Se Re, Dil Se Re, Dil Se Re. Dil to akhir dil hai na, meethi se mushkil hai na, piya, piya. Can you tell me your favorite background score by Mr. Rahman? Uh, of uh, Rahman's background score? Oh my God, how many yes. films? How many films can say? I mean, films like um, uh, uh, Rang De Basanti, films like Lagan, films. I mean, the list is endless. And he he loves doing background scores and he does it as per the essence and as per the texture of the film, which is fabulous. <laughs> Superhit film Dawn released in 1978. When it was remade in 2006, Shankar Esan Loy composed its music. British director Danny Boyle used its song Aaj Ki Raat to shoot a dance sequence for Slumdog Millionaire. They had already shot the song with uh, Aaj Ki Raat, you know. And uh, so I was thinking if, if it's a song from another movie, it doesn't qualify for any anything. And it's, it doesn't seem right because Indian audiences have already heard that song. So a new song would be good. So then this song Jai Ho was done and time stretched to the exact beats per minute. Jai Ho went on to win Oscar Grammy. How do you look at that? Well, I mean, uh, every director uses some dummy uh, uh, piece of music for the tempo. You know, can use anything. I mean, any so any director can use any piece of music. It could have been anything from the West or any other R.D. Burman song or anything. But eventually, you have to change it. Because uh, you being the composer, that is Rahman being the composer, all he has to do is maintain the beat, beats per minute. If your beats per minute are 132 for Aaj Ki Raat, Use that beats for me, per minute and change the song. It's as simple as that and uh, rightfully so. And Jai Ho reached, I mean, it really put India on the world map. So, amazing. So, I don't think Aaj Ki Raat had any role to do with that particular situation. Aaj Ki Raat just gave uh, Danny Boyle a tempo for the dancers to dance. That's all. That's the only contribution of Aaj Ki Raat for that film. Besides singing and composing music, Shankar Mahadevan has been judging music reality shows for more than a decade.
on every platform there were surprises waiting for him when you listen to participants on these shows did you notice mr rehman's influence on them you know i i uh, i do a show, show called uh, you know super singer down south uh, and it used to be, it was it was almost a joke when the number of times i used to mention rehman's name and then it started becoming okay for the 2 million 7 745th time i'd like to say that rehman you're just unbelievable the next episode again i'll say the 2 million 500 time so it is and the feeling was genuine because his contribution of course his contribution to hindi cinema and other forms of music is great but his contribution to the south industry is just every time he just surprises me every time it is just so deep so amazing you know just the melody the grooves the arrangements it is just just gets me i used to have with co judge kalpana i used to i check with, with one kid used to sing a song i used to check with her who is this must be rehman only right? yes rehman it used to be rehman something that can grab their attention it has to be rehman so unbelievable contribution sir i have noticed that many young singers and composers they conduct themselves like mr rehman am i right see you go suppose you go to kerala no 80% of the singers they behave talk walk like yesudas you know and many of the singers uh, 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 if you see especially telugu uh, and even tamils they all talk and sing like balu sir it is not it's nothing uh, it's nothing bad it is just that how much you love that person you know that person you have become that person and that person has become you because of the intense love and idolation and uh, you know the way you adore that person similarly music composers down south you see many of them their behavior their body language the way they the way they design their studios the way they handle the keyboard the way they behave on stage the way they talk they all become like uh, rehman because not for anything else because they just love him my last question when mr rehman started his career in 1992 in south there was mr ilya raja and in hindi films there was mr nadeem shravan mr anu malik and many more in such a scenario how difficult challenging it must have been for him to find his space his voice and identity see uh, it is difficult to find your voice at any stage of your life you know even in the beginning it's difficult after getting extreme recognition still to maintain that is difficult see if you are extremely popular still if you compose a mediocre song nobody is going to take it because it's your song you know what i mean so a person like rehman has always been hard working he works through the day through the night through the day and he is an extremely hard working person who is very quality conscious and musically very well inclined so a person like that uh, it is difficult but it is possible and he's proved himself when a film doesn't do well at the box office can it push a filmmaker to the path of self destruction with untold stories behind delhi six and its music rakesh om prakash mehra joins us in the next episode stay with us there is a particular uh, quality essence and soul in his voice which nobody else has got like that song uh, ye jo dez hai mera i don't think anybody can render the way rehman has done rehman singing is straight from the heart and it connects straight to your heart do you agree that this indeed was the moment of the day is your choice different whatever your mind says write it in the comment section below we will be waiting subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained